Some residents here in Liberty Village say loitering, drug use, and vandalism are creating accessibility issues and safety concerns at this new pedestrian tunnel that opened just seven months ago. So this walkway connects Liberty Village to King Street West. It's more than a decade in the making, and while everyone is so happy it's finally here, many say they don't feel safe using it. Would you feel safe using it? At, at night, night now. Our cameras capture dirty needles in the stairwells and vestibules, garbage scattered in and around the tunnel. The concrete walls are covered in graffiti, and we found urine and feces near the elevators and walkway. Definitely noticed the feces for sure. Um, and then again, there's like trash, like a lot of garbage on the lower levels as you're coming up into the staircase on both sides. Given, like you said, it's just seven months, it shouldn't be like in this state. Another concern that's been brought to our attention, residents say that loitering and drug use happens in this vestibule at night. Now, this is the only accessible way up to the pedestrian tunnel, and you can see here the security camera has been covered with spray paint. This is part of my commute, and there are some mornings where I'll take to come see instead of crossing the bridge. Okay, and why is that? Just because? Just because there's better lighting. Better lighting. Better lighting and more people. The current situation is, is not acceptable. Councillor Joe Cressy's office has been getting complaints about this bridge and what appears to be a mini encampment behind the staircase, and he tells me the city is responding. What we found in this particular instance is there is an individual who's really struggling. Clearly, this is not a safe environment, both for him and people using the area, so we're trying to support him, but also alongside increased corporate security protocols to ensure it's always safe. As you can see, the bridge here is fully enclosed, something residents were worried about during the public consultation process before construction began. According to the 2016 report, residents told the city they were very concerned about loitering and that people wouldn't be easily seen or heard. They wondered about who would be monitoring the cameras and would security be close by. The preference was for an open-air design like the bridge near City Place. So why did the city uh, decide to have this enclosed design? Our preference, we would have loved, just like the Puente de Luz Bridge in City Place or the Garrison Crossing Bridges in Fort York, would have loved to have a more beautiful and a more accessible open air model. The grading for this rail corridor made that prohibitive. It's not possible. So the bridge does have emergency call buttons like the one right here, and then the cameras like this one, they are recording 24 seven, but the city tells me they are not actively monitored. One thing residents do say is that the bridge is bright and well lit at night. In Liberty Village, Shauna Hunt City News.